I mean, is it possible to still make money off of music? Mm. Uh, I say this. I'd say I gotta take. I gotta take two. Go ahead. Um, I'd say for like the the intentional road we're going down right now. I feel like we could build such a good network and a community that you know, if even if we started a subscription service or something that people could pay in, we would mm-hmm. have enough money to produce and. Uh, you know, erect the type of content that we would want to, you know what I mean? Like that if Mm -hmm. we had a supportive label and all that, it would be able to happen. But that is only a reality for us because we've built so much for such a long time that, you know, we had a worldwide reach before we got, there's people in different parts of the planet that grew up on our music. Uh, I feel like a new artist without that type of discovery, I think it's going to be hard. I think, I think it is hard now because uh, me and him were just talking about how they chart, you know, to say mm-hmm. someone that has close to a hundred million streams only sold 67,000 copies. It's like, there is no unit of measure and that math is not accurate and there's nothing to substantiate it. So you saying that 1600 streams equals one person listening, you're discounting almost 1500 people that listen right. to the song. Yeah. So now you're saying that Mm-hmm. A, uh, a full like palladium like like the palladium on hollywood you're saying a full concert sold out with 1500 people if all of them listen to one song after this that only counts as one sale you know what i'm saying really like, yeah wow like i didn't expanding. know that's how they measured it yeah when you start expanding and like looking at the mathematics it's such a it's such a shit show that it's almost like I don't even care what people say they sell anymore because we are grouping numbers and we came up with a whole mathematical equation that's backed by nothing. So if someone has, you know, oh, they said they did 100K in a week, even at that being successful, you're diminishing the real number, which is close to 600 million. What? Yeah, for all the songs. Yeah, right? yeah, for yeah. Because every, everything's broken down individually for one project. So the math is so ass back who made up this math some fucking it's Spotify you know, guys some Swedes <laughs> some Swedes man Spotify you know Swedes guy. and uh you know tech tech did that tech that the one the number one thing we've ever not even say we ever the number one thing I hear it's like the biggest lie in the world is that numbers don't lie when in all <laughs> actuality they teach you in like second grade to lie they say at anytime you do an average you're lying Anytime you round up, you're you're stupid lying. So you can take a six to a ten. That's a fucking lie. If you round a six up to a ten, you, you better to, spit. This is this is almost hot tap level. You better spit. <laughs> nah, he did so, this. He, he <laughs> his fingers to his temples. He said, "You listening to me? <laughs> Do you understand?" No, but we we juice numbers all the time. Uh, you know, if you go out to eat right now at a nice restaurant, they'll hit you with your bill and they'll say, "Round up." Like, yeah. come on, yo, everything, like if we're rounding up, you're missing three numbers. And if we know anything about how shit adds up, you go to the grocery store, you get like seven things that cost $2, $3. You might not think you're spending that much. You check out, that's almost 67 bucks. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> You know what I mean? That's Adulting. how Target gets you. Adulting. Yeah. Yes. So that's what I feel like the making money side of it mm. is, it's hard because we're yeah. rewarding off engagement and engagement isn't accurate. 